let's talk about puppy skin disorders. Now there are qu quite a few skin disorders that can be in puppies and in adults, but in adults um, we see more metabolic problems, more uh, allergy types of problems than we do in puppies. In puppies, we see a lot of mange. Uh, Demodex mange, Sarcoptes mange is something that's very common uh, in puppies. They get Demodex mange from their mothers, which is a type of mite, and it can cause hair loss and secondary skin infections. We also see Sarcoptic mange, which can cause severe itching and irritation to the skin. And so you always want to get a diagnosis first of, from your veterinary clinic of what your puppy's skin disorder is. And if you think your puppy has a skin disorder, you you want to approach your veterinary clinic to see what that is. A lot of puppy skin problems revolve around either rashes called puppy pyoderma and that's something that we see a lot of times on the belly. It's like a staph infection rash that's on the ventral part of the belly. It's very common in puppies. Um, you can see hair loss from mange and itching from mange as well, um, but you have to get that diagnosed from your clinic. Uh, also, ringworm, which we see occasionally in puppies, can show up as a little area of, of hair loss and itchiness too. And so those are the most common reasons that we'll see a puppy here for a skin disorder. Um, a lot of times they're growing very, very fast and the environment is all new to them and so their skin may react to that and you may see just general rashes in them. But make sure you get a diagnosis to rule out mange first because that can be sometimes long, uh, long treatment and a difficult treatment and you want to get that ruled out.